thought the thing. Hello! <laughs> How's it going, everyone? My name is Sackle Hunter. Welcome to the video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Genesis 3. Um, this came out. I haven't seen shit from it. Here's how it's going to be. Hopefully, it's better. Found out some stupid shit. Boy, I ask, what's the stupid shit? God damn it. Boy, I ask, stupid shit. Apparently, BuzzFeed's still around. They're making a shitty fucking horror movie. My arms are like normal, chest is normal, stomach's like really like that. <laughs> like I just got like a, I'm just a ball right now, but like my arms and legs are like fine. My hands look all, my hands look a little chubby, I don't know. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, why did you edit this one down? I don't know, I just wanted to try two different things. So we're going to watch uh, Genesis Overwatch, uh, see how it goes, Overwatch 2 Genesis 3 Rebirth, because uh, maybe, maybe, it teases the new hero. We will not know, so let's go, uh, let's go see. The United Nations created Overwatch, yeah. and we won some victories. We thought the tide had turned. Yeah, he fell outside. Unfortunately, it did not quite work out that way. But life had to go on. God. Can you imagine that? Like, still going to school in the middle of a war and shit like that? Can you... Because then, like, in the middle of school... That whole area could get bombed and shit. Like you just never God, I don't know. That's that's crazy. Oh, I keep thinking it's this. I don't know. I just thought that was crazy. Genesis Blood Three. You powered mechs fight back. Mother Russia. Any battle will be won. God damn. The Anubis program was learning from its defeat. We could never beat it the same way twice. Annihilation, or victory, depending on your point of view, seemed inevitable. And I know I had no choice in the matter. I was under the control of the Anubis program. But it haunts me. All the Omnics had their major subroutines overridden and controlled by a lone god program. All except one. Yeah, well, Aurora. I was gonna say. Her sentience meant that she was immune to the Anubis directives. But if the AI could interface with all these Omnics, maybe Aurora could too. Ah, uh, so then I would explain the eyes. Not that they all have a one of a kind. But we had found a way to replicate her, to transmit her. But the cost would be so her, incredibly high. Her life, yeah. Pretty confident we knew what the results would be. But I will never fully understand what really happened in there. Is that. We're in a lot of like. 
This looks like the the hero. I could. I mean, it's uh, a big Give chance. Give us a draw. chance. Gave up their lives, so then they can turn the tide. But also gave it all the Omnics their own sentient being of not wanting to fight. Something, everything, changed. It was the strangest thing I ever saw. That moment would be known as the Awakening. For the first time in our existence, we were suddenly given a choice. So, what happened to Anubis? Some chose to lay down their weapons. Some continued to fight the humans. But some of us chose to turn against the AI that had held us captive. We had a choice. Overwatch sees the moment. Real quick, does that mean... Like, Graham might be controlled still by Anubis, or... Oh no, because he's still fighting for the people, for his people. And he just doesn't like humanity. So the thing I'm not understanding... Is... What made Anubis crack? Maybe I didn't pay attention well enough to the thing, but... I, I, I just, I'm struggling to find... The breaking point that caused all this shit. That, that's what I'm struggling to find right now. Um, I don't know. They started a counteroffensive. It would take some time, but it was the start of us winning the war. The strikes and counter strikes eventually drove the enemy forces to collapse. Yeah, because they lost. For some small like, miracle, yeah. we infiltrated and quarantined Anubis in Cairo. Months later, the war was over. We had won. Did y'all put Anubis in a motherfucking pyramid? <laughs> hey, look, man. We, we called it Anubis. What did you want to do? <laughs> I got to know some of them. They are the like. Omnics? Us. Reflections of us. Who Some are you talking are to? That's no a better good. question. Some I would trust with my life. I suppose we all had an awakening. The awakening? Of course I remember. For one brief moment, we were all connected and aware. What I remember more than the anything iris. else is her message. My friends, when I was born, I was overwhelmed. Overwhelmed by the sudden rush of senses, emotions, choices. I was excited, alive. It was frightening. What if, what if Aurora is... But I found in facing fear, there is freedom. Aurora is the new hero. And oh. through freedom, you can find your own path. I have chosen to share the discovery with you. A new beginning. I wish I could stay. You have this one life. Choose well. You have this one life. Choose well. Choose well. Why do we have to rehear that from the three scientists and the guy? I don't know. That felt awkward. Uh, the ending died a little bit because of that last part. There you go, a little advertisement right there, I guess. Um, I don't know. Like, it's not... <sighs> the 
The thing that I'm still wondering now is, is technically she's the Iris? Is that it? Like, I don't know. There's just still more questions than answers. And I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. I'm getting tired of that fucking trend. Answer some goddamn shit already. Like, I'm tired of us always being left in a loop. And just like, oh, let's theorize this, theorize this, theorize this. It's, it's been fucking years. Because <laughs> even I have this problem with Destiny as well. And that's why uh, I'm not streaming it nor showing it that much anymore. Uh, at least until next season. Is because right now, there is absolutely nothing of interest. Because everything is always so fucking vague. Just tell us the answer. <laughs> Like, that's, that's all I think we want right now. I, I think, oh, correct, sure, that's all I want right now. And I don't know if there's anybody else with me, but I just want more answers than fucking more vague shit. I don't want to be guessing what's this, 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 this anymore. I, I, do, I want some fucking answers. Like, for instance, from what we just saw, she exploded, and now all Omnics are sentient. Cool. What the fuck was that glowing shit? <laughs> What, like, what was that? Is that the iris? Is that some other shit? Like, what is it? That's what I'm not understanding. That's why I do not understand about the story. Like, yes, it is the story of the upbringing of the Omnics. But it also doesn't make any sense. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, we made the sentient being. But because we made the sentient being, we don't, we don't really like uh, the idea of, like, you know, this company staying fucking, you know, advertised and shit like that you know nah bankrupt their ass so they get bankrupt instead of claiming the actual equipment by the government the government claiming any of the equipment instead they just left it there for years and then one of the god programs they had anubis just takes over why did the anubis take over what made him take over what was going on what happened to anubis they said that anubis got fucking quarantined and shit where the fuck is he? <laughs> like, did they just leave him in the... Um, did they... Well, they fucking leave a lot of shit, so they what? They just left him in the goddamn building again? The only one that knew was fucking Soldier. Yeah, because there's one clip of him actually going in to fucking fight what's her name or Anubis. And... See, I'm trying to find it. He was literally the only one that went in there. They, they fucking, it's so quick, I can't even find it by going back 10 seconds. Yeah, see, the only one that knew about anything here, with pro anything dealing with fucking this shit, is goddamn Soldier, Morrison. Morrison's the only one that knows what happened, what really happened with Anubis. So, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm tired of theorizing shit. I just want answers, man. I don't want to, I don't want to, like, have to dig through shit no more. I just want answers. Because every time, it, like, every time there's digging, it just feels like there's more dirt. Like, I, I get, I find, I find, like, a small little thing of gold. And then there's just more dirt. Because you want that, you want more of the gold. And it's like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a big fan of this. This just, uh, I don't actually got a curiosity. I'm curious on the comments of the show. Introducing Genesis. The corporation higher ups may be killing this game, but the people who are actually working on it clearly have so much love for the world. <sighs> Again. This really is what we imagined the world of Overwatch could be years ago. Glad the story is getting told now. <sighs> I guess, but. So Aurora is the Iris, which is pretty cool because that means Sigma's voice line to Zenyatta, where he says he has met the Iris, could actually be true. See, there you go. Uh, the ending literally gave me chills through my spine. It was just a sacrifice her life, so Omnic. Um, oh um, yeah, like this last episode was really good with Aurora. It's just, eh, it was amazing and overwhelming. More animated series with the right path. Like Rora said, choose well. I don't know, I feel like the ending killed it a bit. Like, I think Aurora should have said it, and they should have just went straight up to the sky, not the... 
it it just it sounded cheesy when they said it. Well, we had to we had to make the thing in there. Okay, mom. Well, I'm glad people are enjoying it. It's just if you really actually dig deep with the story, which I've been known to do because of Destiny, sadly, it's there's a lot of plot holes. <laughs> there's a lot of plot holes. If you really dig deep into this, but Overwatch isn't that type of game. I understand that, but that's just me. All right. Well, either way, I uh, hope that you guys enjoyed this. Uh, peace out. Take care. Have a great day. At least this one's unedited. Peace.